what we're looking for within Amazon. This is a stock that was really sitting out a lot of the rally until this year, had a big catch up move, but still not quite all the way back. I think you set it up, Mike. It's uh, and maybe you, you may even have been charitable. Uh, Amazon as a stock has been a dog the last uh, uh, two years. It started to turn, and the three things that matter tonight: Are we going to see this um, recovery in uh, North American retail margins? I think that's a probability. Are we going to see signs of an acceleration in North American retail sales growth? And this is kind of the big data point on the U.S. consumer. I'm not sure. I think it's possible we will, but I don't think Amazon's retail business is gangbusters yet because the consumer's not. But I think there's possibility we'll see some green shoots there. And then what really matters to the stock tonight is this AWS business, which has gone in free fall mode from 30% plus growth to now 10, 11%. But that's all in the past. The question is, will they acknowledge or will they guide to acceleration for the back half of the year? And that's an unknown. I, I, you know, I think it's 50-50 whether they do or not. Uh, they, they, we're going to be doing 9, 10, 11 percent growth year over year. If you had known that a few years ago, you would have sold every share of Amazon you had. That would have been the right call. But that's the past. What's going to happen now? I think you are going to get this acceleration moment, whether we get it into this next quarter's read or whether it's later in the year. I think it's coming. It's one of the reasons why I like the stock here. It's interesting, Mark, that because you still do have kind of at least on the surface level, um, you know, the sell side is, is on board. It's mostly buy ratings out there. But there seems to be a lot of skepticism or just this barrier with with investors to really believing that there's a sense of urgency either on the cost side for Amazon or that they're moving quickly enough in the right direction on AI, wherever that might mean for AWS. Uh, and so all of it together uh, feels like they, they have something to prove. Uh, I think you're right. I think there's a fair amount of skepticism. I know the stock's up year to date, as a lot of as the, uh, joins with the other big tech uh, names, and there's a, sort of a lot of there's some there's a fair amount of hope. But I, I still think that there's a little bit more skepticism on this name. Uh, there's a lot higher level of skepticism on Amazon than there than there has been at most parts of the last call it eight even ten years. And did they lose the cloud crown? To Microsoft Azure because of AI. I think that's a real thesis that's out there in the market. Can they really recover these North American retail margins that went negative for the first time in a decade last year? Um, can they, uh, you know, are they are they losing market share maybe to Walmart and other omni-channel uh, players? That's probably less of a fear. It, the, the real big one, the, the elephant in the room is AWS. And, and is, is Amazon a, a winner from, a, from AI or is it a loser? It almost certainly is a winner. But, you know, we want to see that in the numbers. 10% year-over-year growth is not an AI winner. 20% is. And the question is, can we believe that they can get there next year at some point? Right. Um, Malcolm, uh, you, you own Amazon. How are you thinking about it here? Yeah, I'm actually more interested in what Amazon is going to tell us about digital advertising, right, because they slotted themselves as the third uh, contender as far as the global digital ad sales market is concerned. But even more importantly, in the near term, I'm interested to hear what their plan is for the AI unit since they made this decision to go open architecture, right, not the, the meta version of open architecture, but truly where builders can come in and decide to develop on the Lambda uh, LLM, they can build on ChatGPT or anybody else. And Amazon's positioned itself to get paid one way or another regardless because anytime they interact with that chatbot, whatever they build on top of it, Amazon Web Services is going to collect a little bit of a toll on that highway. And so I'm really interested to hear, one, where Andy Jassy sees opportunity to take some market share in the global advertising space, but then also where the longer-term picture is for AI as it relates to uh, AWS. And, Steph, you would think, just in a really big-picture way, the number of digital interactions Amazon has with customers, uh, the number of transactions, the preferences, the, the, the volume of data that the company sits on, you would think that if those are, that's the raw material for kind of AI progress, sure. that they have a lot to do here.